What's going on guys, uh, Spilly here again uh, today to bring you a little bit of what I consider a treat, especially considering the news that just came out. Um, today, we got in the, oops, sorry, can't figure out where my thing is there, uh, the BenQ, as you see down here, BenQ EC2A from Zowie. Um, if you haven't heard right now, um, this is the version with the Omron switches. Uh, it actually did get recalled. Uh, all of the BenQ Zowie lines got recalled uh, due to what I believe most people, I don't know if they specifically said, but it was uh, the Omron double-clicking issue, which <clears throat> I'm going to tell you why I'm not really worried about, to be honest, and I'm most likely going to keep this mouse and not send it back for warranty unless it, that issue starts happening really quickly. Um, the reason I'm not really worried about it is because uh, it happens in like 90% of Omron switch mice, which, if you know, um, Omron switch mice make up like 90% of the high-end gaming slash just high-end uh, mouse market. So pretty much any mouse company that uses these switches, uh, mice can have this issue. It's not really a big deal to me. Um, Razer has it, uh, Logitech, the ones that they use have it. I know there are a few mo models of Logitech that don't use the Omrons, but... Um, Logitech's known to have it. Um, like I said, a Razer, or pretty much any any of the mice that use uh, Alm runs. So uh, other than that, yeah, let's uh, let's get into this a little bit and take a look at what this is all about. Um, first off, I will say uh, this box. Uh, this obviously doesn't mean much to people, but considering you know I uh, a few reviews ago I did the Final Mouse 2016. That the final mouse box looks like something I could print it off at home on a piece of cardboard. It kind of looked like trash, to be completely honest. Mouse was okay. Um, wasn't the best, especially considering the quality and how expensive it is. But this is how, in my mind, a box should look. Not like the razor stuff that's just like way too hard trying to grab your attention, but clean, sleek, looks sexy. I mean, this is this is what a mouse box should look like. But anyways, that's. Probably not why you're here to figure out what the box looks like. Let's go ahead and open this sucker. Up. Put that in there, really. As you can see, comes in a basic box. Got your cord and stuff here on the side. Um, yeah, another thing about Zowie is you're not going to get much stuff in the box. I like that. Um, comes with this user guide, which basically just tells you how to switch DPIs and polling rates, I believe. Um, not really too much to it. Um, and a thing I love about Zowie, extra mouse gates. Big deal for me. Um, I like that a lot. I think pretty much any com per company that considers themselves a competitive gaming company should include these. Uh, once again, on the final mouse video, if you saw those mouse gates were like kind of trash, to be completely honest. They were like really tiny. Um, Zowie has the best mouse gates. The best. Uh, let's see. But yeah, let's get down into it. Um, so here it is. Uh, you can't see. Oops, sorry. Red logo there. Um, yeah, it's a pretty sleek looking mouse. I don't like my mice to be all super gamery, except for the. Corsair Scimitar, which I have, which looks super gamery, but um, gamery not even really a word. It's just a word I'm using. Whatever. Um, but yeah, take that off the bottom. So pretty much right off the bat, um, feels nice to me. Uh, this is kind of how I like my mice. Um, it's an ergonomic mouse, and I have fairly small hands, so that's why I went with the 2A over the 1A. Um, big thing you'll notice here also is the mouse wheel. You notice how that mouse wheel is way up higher than even the FK1 or especially like the final mouse. Um, I like that. I like it to be a little bit um, a little bit of a difference between mouse one and the scroll wheel. I like that. Um, side buttons. Oh, I, I actually just from touching them, feeling them right now. Um, I really like that. They, they feel nice. Um, they could be a little bit more tactile, um, but they still feel nice. Uh, the, if you can see them there, I like that in comparison to, let me pop it off of my 
mouse bungee here, a mouse that I've been using a little bit lately, or trying to, is my other Zowie FK1. These mouse buttons on the FK1 are tiny. Um, it's kind of annoyingly tiny, but it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, uh, overall, starting out, looks nice, feels nice. Um, let's talk about this. Also, this is another thing that should be standard. Braid, Non-braided cords. They look nice, but that is absolute trash and something you do not want with a mouse. Um, not only do they tend to fray after time, but they also are very stiff, so if you use a mouse bungee um, or pretty much anything else, they're like they do cause friction because of how stiff they are. I used my final mouse for probably I, I had the final mouse 2016. I used it for probably like two weeks after it came out. It's the cord still wasn't even close to like broken at all. So stiff, I could it, it, like multiple times during the night it would it would annoy me to use it uh, just because I could feel it getting hung up, but. Um, yeah, this is this is a big plus for Zowie. They do this in all their mice, non-braided. That is how it should be. Um, another big plus for me is no DPI button on the top. I it's not a game breaker, but I just don't really like that. That a lot of the mice these days have a DPI button somewhere within hand's reach. Um, it just annoys me. I, I have it doesn't happen like I said very often, but multiple times during a game, during a match, anything like that. I've hit it and my mouse just goes all over the screen. It, it's just, it's annoying. Um, so yeah, Zowie's got theirs right there. If you can see on the bottom, oops, sorry, right there. And generally, it will light up different colors to indicate what DPI you're on, as uh, per told in the user manual. Manual usually. Um, and then yeah, like I said, these mouse gates. I mean, look at the size of that. You see the size of that? That. That's how a mouse gate should look. Um, I want my mouse to glide. I want it to feel like I'm, like, like I think how Dave said it best, like on an air hockey table. I don't want there to be any friction. That's this is how it should look. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, pretty much right out of the box, I can tell I play um, pretty much a claw style grip. I can tell that it will fit my hand completely fine. Um, and like I said, I'm not really worried about the Omron switches, unless something that Zowie knows that most people don't, unless these go catastrophically wrong, um, you'll still get a good amount of use out of these before you'll ever see a double-clicking double clicking issue, if you ever even do. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I don't really plan on sending this mouse back unless, like I said, unless something catastrophically wrong. Uh, mouse wheel feels nice, has a decent amount of feedback, could be a little bit more, um, but I can I, I can't see that really bothering me. Um, yeah, it's uh, overall definitely looking forward to getting in some gameplay with this. It feels really nice, um, really lightweight. Maybe not as lightweight as the final mouse, but that final mouse really gets that really lightweight due to the materials they use. They that that thing feels like a toy that was made in a china shop for McDonald's. Honestly, I mean. Not to knock Final Mouse, I liked the shape, I liked the sensor, but man, the build quality of that thing was just not that great. This is pretty much a shining example of what a gaming, competitive gaming mouse should be. Um, but yeah, I uh, look forward to giving this some, giving it a shot. I'll definitely be sure to update, make sure there is no double clicking issues or anything like that. Um, I will say, if you do want a Zowie with the Omrons, you probably should jump on it because I would assume. With it being recalled, a lot of places will pull it off their stocks. Um, I got this from Rexflow. It's pretty much the only place you can get it from in the United States. And uh, yeah, um, look, like I said, look forward to trying it. Um, I'm definitely going to post this to Mouse Review on Reddit. And also, uh, yeah, be sure to ask any questions. Go ahead and subscribe. Um, leave a comment if you have any more questions. And uh, yeah, look forward to more reviews. The next one will probably be the Scream 1 when it comes out from final mouse and we'll see if it has upgraded any build quality but yeah thanks for uh thanks for tuning in guys uh it's been spilly here with another review uh, i am going to be looking to do some uh, maybe some tips and tricks or some cs gameplay and uh yeah be looking out for that and have a good night guys